everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. I'm currently at the airport in Lima as tonight we are taking a night flight to Bogota. Originally we weren't actually supposed to fly to Colombia already, we were supposed to go to the north of Peru and Ecuador, but for many reasons our plans have changed a little bit and yeah, I'll explain a little bit later why that is. Firstly, I need to find where is the baggage drop because I need to drop off my backpack. Today we are flying with an airline called Wingo Airlines and I think it's like a low-cost airline and even the check-in counter was like in a different place than all the other check-in counters were like in the back corner behind the toilets but it was the cheapest so that's why we picked it. the security, the baggage job, the immigration. It took so long, like more than an hour, so it's good we came here early. has started we got super unlucky we only now realize that we're sitting on complete opposite ends of the airplane i'm sitting right in the front and uh, my boyfriend is sitting right in the back and yeah weird we just said goodbye and said see you in colombia and also i have a middle seat impossible to vlog <laughs> But yeah, I have a middle seat and I was hoping that at least I could lean against him and sleep that way because yeah, I don't think I told you guys but this flight is leaving at quarter past midnight and we won't arrive until like 3 a.m. 3 something a.m. So I'm hoping to get some sleep on this flight but I'm in the middle seat and now I'm in between complete strangers so I can't even lean against someone so... Yeah, oh well, no can do. This is what you get when you pick a cheap airline. Walking down my favorite aisle. <laughs> Okay, I got super lucky after all. The person who was sitting next to me left somewhere and it freed up. So I was able to change from a middle seat to an aisle seat instead. And I'm able to keep my backpack in the middle seat. So I have super much leg room now. Now Rul could have sat next to me after all. I think it's a bit too late now to go and <laughs> find him. But at least I got much more space now, so great. And we're just about to take off. So originally our plan was to still travel through the northern parts of Peru and into Ecuador. But due to there being floodings in north of Peru and because of the recent events in Ecuador and it currently not being advised to travel there, we decided to fly from Lima directly to Bogota instead. But I am definitely planning on coming back to these places we now missed in the future instead. We have now landed in Bogota. The flight ended up being quite comfortable thanks to there not being someone next to me. So that was nice. I actually slept the whole flight. So it felt like it went super super fast. I'm now waiting for rule and then we have to do all the immigrations and liba laba and then hopefully we could find a taxi and an atm relatively painlessly and then head towards our hostel So we managed to exchange some money at the airport. We had some dollars and now we have jumped on the taxi and we are on our way to our hostel. Uh, currently it is almost 4 a.m. What we have done is that we have actually booked our hostel since yesterday and they have a 24 hour reception. So we should be able to check in immediately because we're yeah, we basically booked for one night too much because we just thought we don't want to wait till a 3 p.m. check-in almost 12 hours from now because otherwise we won't sleep at all or yeah, only sleep those few hours in the plane so now we can then check in immediately and still sleep a bit now in the morning. We 
we've now gotten to our room and I must say booking like one night too early so that we could check in earlier was the best idea ever. Currently it's like 12. Yeah, we were able to get to like five, six hours of sleep, which is great. For the next three days, we're going to be here in Bogota and explore the capital city of Colombia. Currently we are staying in an area called Chapinero. And apparently this Chapinero area is a bit like a bohemian neighborhood with lots of great restaurants and stuff. Like I put on Google Maps uh, restaurants and like a gazillion restaurants popped up. So that's great. The hostel that we're staying at is the Selena Chapinero Hostel. Selena is a big and famous hostel chain and I had decided I'd like to stay at a Selena at least once during our trip. Usually they're quite expensive though, but this one was a bit more affordable than most of them. This hostel was really cool. It had its own shops, different hangout areas, lots of activities and events organized, a kitchen and also a restaurant with both indoor and outdoor seating. How am I supposed to uh, eat it? The falafel burger was nice and now we've come outside and we're gonna just walk around the neighborhood of Chapinero where we're staying and see a bit what it's like. Seems really flaky, which is nice. It's warm. Chocolate's all gooey inside, so good. ordered a coffee and he has to wait for the timer to run out and then he has to press it and then pour it. This ex Benedict is so good. Something that has surprised us about Colombia so far is that it's not as affordable as we thought it would be, at least not yet what we've seen here in Bogota. Like we were told that Colombia is supposedly cheaper than Peru, but what we've seen so far, I feel like it's been more expensive. For example, we were thinking about maybe doing some tour here in Bogota, but like just a day tour to a cathedral that's like a little bit outside of the city costs $80 and it did not include a tour guide and it did not include food. So I think that's very expensive. We have haven't paid that much for a day tour on this whole trip ever. Yeah, I'm hoping not all of Colombia is this expensive, but maybe it's just Bogota, the capital, it's a big city. So yeah, but that's something that has surprised us so far.
observation. People are much more aggressive here when it comes to like selling things compared to all the other South American countries we've been to before. Like everybody is trying to sell you something. It's crazy. I think this neighborhood is really, really nice. It's full of cute little restaurants, cafes, and colorful houses, and street art. For dinner we came to this burger place, we were actually walking somewhere else but then we saw this on the way and we kind of spontaneously ended up coming here instead. But yeah, looking forward to my burger! Good morning! Today is actually our last day here in Bogota, but our night bus to the next place doesn't leave until 11 p.m. So we have the whole day still in front of us and we have some fun plans still for today. But first we're gonna go and have some breakfast. Okay, so now I'm gonna tell you guys what happened yesterday when I almost got pickpocketed. So basically I have this sling bag that I use all the time. This was my own mistake. So I was walking with the sling bag turned to my backside like this, so I couldn't see it. I should always walk with it in the front, especially if we're in a busy city like Bogota. It's just, yeah, very stupid of me. But what happened was that right behind me there was a couple, like a man and a woman, and they were walking super close to me. And then Rule noticed that it was a bit weird and he looked around and then and he also said to me to look around and just when I look around I see that this couple like jumps into the shop right next to us like to hide basically and then when I turned my bag my bag was open and I know for sure that I closed it I'm pretty sure that they opened it and they were just about to take my stuff out of the bag I really didn't feel anything and honestly if Rule wouldn't have noticed it they probably would have needed only like 30 more seconds and they would have had enough time to take my stuff out of my bag or at least something so yeah that was super super lucky I had my vlog camera my passport and stuff in this bag so yeah especially in big cities like this always always important to keep it in the front where I can see it but yeah that was kind of wild that was actually the first time ever in all of South America that we've had any kind of incident like that like so far every place has felt relatively safe actually like of course you've had to be careful but no one has ever tried anything so far so uh, yeah let's hope this was the first and last time Today we're going up the Monsterrate mountain in Bogota. You can either walk, take a funicular or a cable car. For the way up we decided to get the cable car and then for the way down we decided to walk. If you want to sit down you should choose the funicular because it seems like in the cable cars you stand. Go in the funicular, you get to go through a tunnel.
Wow, what a view from here. I thought up here there would only be, well, the church. We're gonna visit it later. And maybe one cafe or something in a viewpoint. But no, it feels like almost like a really, really small town with a bunch of different restaurants and cafes and statues. And they're playing music on the speakers. And it's really nice. Wow, this cafe is beautiful. Look at this house. It's really beautiful. And with the most amazing view as well. Wow. Visiting this place has definitely been worth it. The cafe was really cute. The views are beautiful. There's surprisingly a lot here. There's a market and street food and church. And yeah, it's very, very beautiful. And you can truly see all of Bogota from here. It's absolutely stunning. But now starts our walk down the stairs. The way down took surprisingly long, like more than an hour, so if you're planning on also walking up, do keep in mind that it can be quite tiring. The views on the way are amazing though, and it's also possible to buy things like food and drinks on the way. So we came back to our hostel and our plan was to sit in the restaurant and eat there and for me to edit there because I really need to get some editing done. I don't know what is going on here but there's some kind of big event and the whole restaurant and even like the working spaces, everything is full of people. People are getting tattoos left and right like everywhere. I think it's some kind of tattooing event and we saw people getting like their whole bodies painted. People are drinking and there's a DJ and it's super loud and super crowded. We've now found the only calm spot in this hostel at the moment which is the kitchen and and I asked and I was able to actually order food from the restaurant and they will bring it here to the kitchen and here I'm also able to get some editing done. Wasn't expecting that when coming back to the hostel.